So what you just saw there was the start of what will hopefully be a Spider-Man swinging robot thing. Now I've had this idea for a while now of a robot that can move to a ledge, aim and then fire a web which it then swings off of, releases the web and then lands. Is there a point? No, not really apart from that I think it would be kind of cool. So in this video I'm going to be making the web firing mechanism and then I'll come out with videos for the rest. So the first thing I need to figure out is the web material. Now it would be cool to use some sort of actual web fluid like Spider-Man but I'm not smart enough for that. So instead I'm going to use thread with some sort of grappling hook on the end. Now it can't be too stiff otherwise it won't really be able to unspool properly when fired. It can't be too thin either as that would just compromise its strength. To test what thread will work I've built this swinging rig thing and I'm going to test some different weights to see how the thread holds up. Alright so I've loaded some regular sewing thread with a 0.5 gram weight. Now this is probably less than the robot will weigh but let's just see how it does with this. <laughs> not great. Right I think we might need a different thread. Alright so I've also got some Kevlar thread here which is used to make things like racing sails and bulletproof vests so let's see how that does. Okay so here's the 0.5 kilograms with the Kevlar. Pretty good. Uh, let's try dropping it. That's pretty good. Let's try with some higher weight then. Alright so this is it loaded with 1.25 kilograms. Pretty good. In that case let's try dropping it. Right, so it broke the stand. I'd say it's definitely strong enough if it's stronger than this. So I think we found our material. So now it comes to the question of firing it. Now, rather than going the route of CO2 canisters or something to fire the web, I've decided to use some sort of elastic spring loader mechanism. So I started by modeling the design in CAD and then I 3D printed it. which makes it sound way easier than it was. In reality, I had to make like four different prototypes before I got to this final version because I have no idea what I'm doing. So after that, it was a question of assembling the part and I'll just put in a quick time lapse for that now. Yeah, and then all I need to do was some boring stuff like coding and then connecting up the circuit, which I've probably managed to massively overcomplicate. Okay, cool. So with everything connected up now, I can control the direction, which this aims and then also fire it with this button here and um, like that. So I think now is a good time for a test with the swinging rig. I'd say that went pretty well. I mean, you can see it went over the uh, swinging frame. So if we just pull on it here, there you go. The grappling hooks have come. It's on nice and strong. I'd call that a success. Right. That's all for the video. Now, I know I didn't do very much, but I should be coming out with the next part in about a week where I make the winch and the release mechanism. So stick around for that if you did enjoy the video. Maybe subscribe, but thanks for watching.